hello everyone welcome back to my channel so if you haven't subscribed my channel so far please go and click the subscribe button so you can get more videos about comsol simulation so in today's video we are going to solve a 3d cantilever beam problem using solid mechanics physics so in the first step we will go to the add component and we will click the 3d and first we need to build a cantilever beam so here we will click on the geometry and then we will select block in the block we will give the values 0 0.02 for the width and 0 0.005 for the depth of the beam and 0 0.2 for the height of the beam so you can see here we clearly have a cantilever beam here uh, in the next step we will go and click the build alt so now we have a beam structure with us so in the next step what we will do we need to assign the material click on the materials and click on add material from library and i already have built some user defined materials so i will click on stainless steel material and now automatically all the domain is selected for stainless steel material so the next step is to add physics so we'll go on the physics we will add click the add physics and here we will go on the structural mechanics and we will click on solid mechanics now we have solid mechanics physics selected for this beam uh, and then the next step what we will do we will find the boundary conditions so if the first boundary condition we are going to apply a point load uh, on this edge so we will click on solid mechanics go to edge and we will apply a edge load so now we will go here and we will select this edge and we will assign the value because the load is in the downward position in the y downward position so we will select the 100 newton load that is applied on the edge of this beam so we also have to fix the beam from one end so we'll go on the solid mechanics again right click on that and go to the fix constraint and come here and select this face as a fixed boundary so now all of the constraints are applied so the next step in the next step we will go and create a finer mesh this time and now we will we have to select a steady so go to steady step add a stationary steady step click here and now you have a steady stationary steady so you can click here results while solving so it's okay if you don't click in this case because we are not solving the problem for time dependent steady it's a very simple problem so we'll get the results quickly we'll click on compute and it will automatically compute the problem for us now you can see here if I go here and if I click rotate 90 degree and you can see here this end of the beam was fixed and we applied a hundred Newton downward force uh, on this edge and you so you can clearly see here that the four minus stress is being plotted on the domain of the cantilever beam and also you can clearly observe the bend of the beam because we are applying force here and this end is fixed so this end is going to bend um, so you can you can also visualize the force you have applied if you click on applied nodes and go to edge loads and if you plot so you can clearly see here that you are applying downward 100 newton this scale shows that this is 100 newton force you are applying downward so if we come back to the bone mice stress and deformation plot so we would like to see the magnitude of the deformation along the length of this beam so for that purpose we will right click on the data set we will go to the cut line 3d we will change the values from 0 to 0 0.2 and for the x 0 0.02 divided by 2 0 0.02 divided by 2 again and you can clearly see the here we have a red line that is along the length of this beam and we would like to see the deformation value or magnitude along the length of the beam so in the next step we will go to the results we would like to see, uh, see the deformation so we need a plot so we we'll click on 1d plot 
and we will click on the line graph and from the data set we will select cut, cut line 3d and you can see here the expression is uh, solid displacement so we are going to see a graph uh, of the displacement against the length of the beam so if i click plot so you can clearly see here from 0 to 0 0.2 uh, against the length of the beam you can see the magnitude of the displacement is basically increasing so now you can change the values here so if i go here and click the solid mechanics and if i want to see the stress i'll go the stress i'll click the stress and then one my stress and here you can see the stress value against along the length of the beam so that's all about today's video so thank you so much for watching